Okay, this is a girl, this is Tina. Tina, this is one of the really nice horses for running. She loves to the beach. She's really, really faster. And Tina has stayed with me like a three years ago. And I'm so happy because she's, she's my girl. Squirrel monkey. Beautiful. Pura Vida, pure life, the rich life, all about living life to the full and just being at one with nature. Sometimes they get aggressive. Wherever I've gone in this country, that's what it's all about. Being immersed in the natural environment, taking care of the natural environment. Get me yawning. Costa Rica, it's my sanctuary. It's a place that I come to relax, to unwind, to really feel at one with the environment. Nobody around. Take a little kayak and just go off and explore. It's incredible. And um, as you can hear, it's just filled with the sound of the rainforest. Got to be one of the most stunning jungle environments I've ever seen. It's just pristine. You know? Look at the size of these trees. It's, uh, it's magnificent. And you've got monkeys, you've got sloths. Hundreds of these little cappuccino monkeys. Super cute. They just want to cross the bridge. I love is just going off and exploring. You know, I've been traveling around by boat, a quad bike. Uh, you know, the roads are good, it's very safe. footprints of the taper. Ah, yeah, so yeah. This is one of these uh, how, fresh, how fresh are these? It's at least like, a, I would say, one hour ago. Amazing. So this is their place, my <laughs> friends, you <laughs> know. Cool. Let's see where we can find it. Costa Rica's got 6.5% of biodiversity in the world. Over 95,000 species registered just in this one country. A squirrel monkey, he's the size of a tiny little kitten. You can get so close to the wildlife, I mean, it's what a privilege. There's such diversity in this place, it's amazing. It's a unique place in Costa Rica that you can find four species of monkeys here in Corcovado, my friend. Yes, and 2.5% uh, of biodiversity in the world, my friend. Just here. right, right uh, Corcovado. People here are very, very proud of the natural heritage. Something like a quarter of the whole country is protected by law in terms of biodiversity reserves, national parks. It's packed with wonders, you know, absolute magic. Those are the color peccaries. They're not so aggressive. Yeah. They know that we're not gonna hurt them. You know? mm -hmm. There's three baby peccaries that are kind of little bush pig, literally two meters away. You can see that up here. He's got his eyes open. He's just looking at me, yawning. Beautiful mammal. So this is a tapir. Right? That's a tapir, my friends. So, so it's, it's part of the pig family, is it? it no, this is kind of a rhino's family, my friends. Rhino's, rhino's family. family. Right. He's Place. just chilling out, it's isn't he? He's chilling out right there. And I've been seeing these guys. So you'll 
based inside the Corcovado National Park. Yes. What haven't you seen so far? Uh, I I would like to see the jaguars. Okay, still haven't seen a jaguar or a puma. Yeah, yet. never. <laughs> just the ocelot. What do you think about Corcovado and Oh, Jose? it's beautiful. It's my, this is my fourth time in Costa Rica, but okay. my first time here in Corcovado right. National Park. And um, it's one of the most spectacular places I've ever okay. seen. something just really magical about being here. This is like a real sanctuary of peace and harmony to come and just relax. And it's a place that I will return to time and again. When you've got sunsets like that, why wouldn't you? The Nicoya Peninsula on the Pacific coast of Costa Rica is, uh, is actually a, what they call a blue zone, where people regularly live to well over 90. You know, it's, it's well known for people just living very, very long and healthy lives. Yo me llamo Juan Gutierrez Rosales. Tengo 103 años, casi cuatro. El secreto para mí y para todos, yo les digo, la felicidad, como les digo, la felicidad en la tranquilidad de su vida. Mi centenario. Que la felicidad como tuve con mi familia, con mis padres. Que yo el consejo que yo le doy a todos. Y amen su esposa, y amen su, amen su hijito, amen el matrimonio. Yo puedo comer poco, pero estoy feliz, estoy tranquilo. People from Europe, from the United States, in Canada, they say, wow, this is incredible. Just ride horses on the beach to the jungle. We have a jungle tour too. The sunset with the horses is beautiful too. It's, it's a good horse. It's a good horse. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. Hola. Mucho gusto. <laughs> So can you tell me about what these masks and this art represent? Okay, in my culture, indígena maleku represents a una persona leader, fuerte, inteligente, que le gusta y protege la naturaleza. Uh -huh. The jaguar represents a person that is uh, the leader, the strongest, and is representing the nature. I see. Mm -hmm. And the owl represents the wisdom. Beautiful. If it's fast like that. real photographer's dream wherever you look you know there's amazing people the sense of color and character of the of the culture you know there's amazing wildlife known for my adventures and hardcore expeditions, but Costa Rica is the perfect place to unwind, relax, and read and write. And, and that's one of the things I do if I'm looking for inspiration to write a new book or just to journal and take stock of what I've been up to. The River Tarkalas, right on the Pacific coast, teeming with wildlife. There's all sorts of different types of bird life, and it's packed with crocodiles. Okay, now we have Shakira. She moves the tail like this. <laughs> <laughs> They're very territorial, so we have to be very quiet because sometimes they get aggressive. I see, look at his head. He's getting outside. So this big boy here, this is Tyson. He's the biggest crocodile in the whole river. Apparently six meters long. The size of his head. Not only is Costa Rica always ranked as one of the happiest countries in the world, it's also one of the most peaceful and safest countries in the world. It really rubs off, and I think that's one of the reasons that I love coming back to this country. It's my sanctuary. It's about sense of relaxation and living the pure life. The world needs more Pura Vida.